I want to show you guys a cool and easy way to design an amazing binder cover. Hey guys, my name is Ed Choi. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In my channel, I talk about everything to do with the office. And today, well, I'm gonna be talking about how to design a awesome customized binder using this quick fit binder tool. So as you can see, I'm in this program called quitfitbinders.com. And before I get into that, if you haven't seen my last video on how to choose a three ring binder, click on the link right above me and I'll walk you through the process on choosing the right binder for your application. And I'm always a huge proponent of having the right tool for the right job. So once you've done that, one of the things that really kind of bothers me is on traditional binders, I'm sure you guys have all kind of experienced this before where you, you've got a little label that you're trying to put down the spine of a binder. And oftentimes it's even hard just to even get the label started. And actually I'm having a hard time just getting this going over here. So really we're not gonna be talking about these type of binders because if you're into labeling, it's, um, it's just really difficult and cumbersome. So let's uh, get rid of that binder. Now, what I have today is a quick fit binder. Now, this is made by the Davis Group. They're a based, uh, Canadian-based manufacturer out in the Toronto area. And they've been uh, making binders for a long time. And one of the cool things that they do is they create binders with this open spine design. And as you can see, the whole spine is open. And in it, you'll see this lovely label that comes with the binder. And it's just on an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet of paper. And what makes this really neat is that to label your binder, all you have to do is open up the spine because it's all open. You just slip in a piece of paper and it becomes super easy. So especially when you're labeling lots of binders, this becomes a really effective tool to use. Now, full disclosure, I am working with the Davis Group to create this video, but I'm doing this because I love their binders. It's just an awesome tool and I wanna share this with you today. So first things, what you wanna do is go to quickfitbinders.com. Once you get there, you're gonna uh, want to register yourself. Now this is all free. And once you do that, you can start designing. You can see here I'm logged in. Um, I'm actually gonna go right to the beginning to my design area. And the very first thing that you need to do is select your binder. Now, if you're not sure which binder you have, there is a product code on the back of your binder and you can input it right here on the right hand side under quick code, whether it be the product code or the UPC code, you could put it in there, press submit and boom, you're done. But in my case, I know what I'm working with. I'm working with a view binder. So I'm gonna go click next. I know it's a one inch view binder and I'm gonna go click next. And uh, today I'm gonna be working with an eight half by 11 inch sheet of paper for my binder cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this is where all the fun begins. Now we can start actually just use their stock images for backgrounds. They've got tons of cool images. Uh, so if you wanna click an image like this, for example, look at that, it's beautiful, it's stock, it's easy to use. If for some reason you need to get rid of it, just click on the backgrounds again and you'll see an, uh, an X where you selected that image. So press on the X and I kind of had to fiddle around and find this because I was trying to delete it uh, right on the image itself. So this is a really quick tip for you. So if I press X, now I'm back to my clean slate. So what I like to do is actually use my own image for just to customize things because it's nice to have something a little bit custom. So what I'm gonna do here is add my image and I'm gonna to go to my downloads and I already have an image uh, saved here. So I'm gonna open that up. And once it's uploaded, boom, nice, lovely picture. The first thing I wanna do is actually size it for my binder cover. And what I like to do is just take this orange tab right here and click and drag it right to the top of my screen. And there you go. If for some reason you need to get rid of this, you just press the X button and that'll get rid of that image. But as you can see now that I brought in the image, it's covering the text boxes. So how do you bring the text boxes forward? Super easy. On the right hand side here, you have a whole bunch of tools. So here I'm gonna go send backwards. So I want actually my image to be on the background. So I'm gonna cl click it once and boom, on the uh, left hand side, you'll see my text appears. And if I press it one more time, the other text appears, which is on the face of the binder cover. Now from here, I want to, and we're almost done. This is amazing. It's like so quick on how we can do this. Here, we're gonna want to uh, customize our text. And as you can see, just like a Word document, you can choose the different types of fonts, font size, font colors. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit fun and go white. 
because it's I like to bold my text so I'm gonna bold it over here and let's do something different here I'm gonna to go to the courier font over here and I'm gonna bring this up as you can see it's a little my text is a little bit smushed I'm gonna actually first write what I'm gonna write here office products 101 and I'm gonna click this orange bar drag it all the way down and that looks pretty good and actually I'm gonna center it a little bit here I'm gonna do the same thing for my binder cover make that a little bit bigger and actually we're gonna move it right to the top that's it now our binder covers like it's so quick and easy it's awesome so what I'm gonna do now I can just if I feel confident, just print it. If I want, I can preview the design as well. So from there, I can go ahead and print it. And of course I can save this to my design. So if I'm doing a series of binders or if I wanna go back to this design, I can save it. And once it's printed, I actually have a printed piece right over here. So this is what my printed binder cover looks like now. And this is the fun part. I'm gonna insert this right into my binder. Isn't that like, it's so quick and easy. And look at that, it's beautiful. It's all customized. The spine's nice and labeled and just looks super professional and fun. If you're in the market for a binder, check out the Quick Fit binders, especially if you need to label a lot of binders. If you're in the medical field, uh, working in a law firm, educational field, like anywhere where you're using lots of binders, especially this Quick Fit binder will save your life. It's just fun and customizable, right? So thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and give me a big thumbs up if you liked the video. All right, thanks guys. And I'll see you guys next time.